The bass, the bass. Over the years, we've kind of developed a thing for novelty Bluetooth speakers, and today we're checking out another one. Today we've got Soda Pop, a Bluetooth bass bottle speaker. A basic concept where you just take the speaker and pop it on top of a plastic bottle to create bass. Ooh, designed in Norway. I have no idea if that's a good thing or not, but it sounds fancy. So what you can see here is the Soda Pop bass. I didn't drop it. So what you're seeing here is the Soda Pop base bottle, which also doubles as a carrying case, and the speaker is just inside. So to get that out, we just undo the bottom here, and... I'm just dropping everything today. Well, at least now we know this thing is durable. So on the back of the Bluetooth speaker, you've got your volume up and down controls. You've got the power button in the middle. And then just here, you have ports for your aux cable and your DC in. And then just underneath here, you've got your screw top so you can attach this thing to bottles. So before we actually try it with the bottle, let's just see what it sounds like on its own. It's one of the weirder Paron sounds I've ever heard. I don't know why, but Artless is suddenly putting my career into question. Do you consider yourself a YouTuber? I feel kind of attacked, I don't know why. <laughs> Lovely. Surprisingly enough, for a tiny Bluetooth speaker, this thing doesn't actually sound too bad on its own. Obviously, the bass is pretty much non-existent, but that's where the bottle comes in. It may look like a basic bottle, but it is in fact a bass ick bottle. Please laugh. It's amazing how much better that is. So it goes from standard kind of rubbish sounding Bluetooth speaker to the bass, the bass. I'm just amazed that a tiny plastic bottle can improve the sound quality that much. Now, let's say for some reason you forgot your bass bottle and you're just like, damn, what am I gonna do without my bass bottle? That's where I get my bass. Luckily, this speaker is compatible with pretty much every PET bottle. So like a Coca-Cola bottle or a two liter bottle of 7up. Do people still drink 7up? Is that a thing? Yes? No? Maybe? You don't know? Want me to repeat the question? So I got myself two different bottles. One kind of big, one a little less big, but they are both different shapes. And I'm not sure whether or not the shape of the bottle is actually going to affect the sound at all, but we're gonna find out. I mean, it does look a bit weird, but it does certainly work. I think it's safe to say the shape of the bottle doesn't really make much difference. But now I'm wondering what happens if you fill one of these bottles with a bit of water? Ooh, ooh, you can see the bass. That sounded so stupid. <laughs> Now, surprisingly, way more entertaining than it should be. I mean, it's literally just water moving, but hey, apparently, I'm an easy man to please. Okay, apparently, the more water, the heavier the bass. I can feel it in my feet. Man, I gotta say, despite this thing being such a simple idea, I'm getting a real kick out of it. Just as a speaker on its own, there's really not much going on with it. It doesn't sound all that great. But as soon as you add this thing to a bottle, it just sounds a hundred times better. And I kind of love it. And it just adds an element of experimentation, which I just haven't seen in any Bluetooth speaker. You can try this thing out with different bottles, or you could use the bottle that this thing comes with, and you can fill those bottles with varying amounts of liquid. You can fill it up with all kinds of things, in fact, and just see what it does to the sound. And it's gotta be said, Plastic bottles do kind of suck. We've got way too many of them in the world and they're kind of cluttering up the place. So if there's a way of repurposing these things by making them all into bassy speakers, I'd be down with that. The Soda Pop Bluetooth speaker has surprised me. I didn't expect it to be as good 
as it is. It's well designed, compact, and though it may look simple on the surface, the Soda Pop is a surprisingly innovative little speaker. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon account. And you can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.